The cycling community in Belize is in mourning following a fatal shooting that took place on the Old Northern Road in the Lake Garden area of Ladyville, Belize District, Friday night. The victim was 38-year-old Wilbert Banks, a cycling enthusiast who was considered the right-hand man of Andrew Ordonez for the live stream of cycling events. Banks was Ordonez's motorcycle driver. Reports are that Banks was shot multiple times while driving before midnight. He was found dead inside a Toyota RAV4. In honor of Banks' unexpected death, the Cycling Federation of Belize collaborated with Ordonez Bike Shop and Ordonez himself to hold a ride Sunday morning in his honor and that of his brother Karim Banks and Edison Vintage Usher. Karim Banks, who also assisted with the live stream of cycling events, died during a motorcycle accident two years ago in April 2022. He and Edison Vintage Usher were on the George Price Highway heading to cover the women's cross country that year. Last Sunday, police announced the arrest of Chris Morris Benosa from ba for Banks' murder. Today, Commissioner of Police Chester Williams confirmed that at the scene, they found a cell phone belonging to a woman. When she was located, they learned she was in a relationship with Chris Mara Spinoza. He was convicted of a December 2009 stabbing murder in prison, but on appeal, it was reduced to manslaughter. He was recently released from prison. Police say they have sufficient evidence to charge Espinosa for Banks' murder. It is our understanding through the investigation that prior to him going to prison, he was with the woman. And when he went to prison, she had an affair with the now deceased. And when he came out of prison, he got back with the woman. And uh, Chris Mara found out of her affair with the now deceased. And uh, based on that, he went and uh, committed the crime against Mr. Banks. So at this time, we have arrested and charged Mr. Espinosa for the crime of murder. And uh, again, I can clearly state that the motive is an act of jealousy. As we have seen in many, many of the murders occurring these days. It would appear we have a, a lot of weak men who seemingly cannot let go of their exes and uh, it is resulting in uh, persons being killed. Uh, so it is something that we're looking at to see how it can be addressed. I, I know it is going to be difficult. The murders we're seeing now um, those act of jealousies and those domestic types of murders are extremely difficult to, to prevent because we don't know when a man is going to decide to go and kill the current boyfriend of his ex-girlfriend. Um, it's difficult.